sure she's okay. Well, I don't know when they'll be back. So, once upon a time, there was a girl who was raised by wolves and whose mother died in childbirth. And she was beautiful. Yeah, because no one cares about ugly people. Whoa! <laughs> Point me to an ugly Disney princess. Snow White. Breach! Oh, literally the bear's <laughs> mom. Ooh, sorry, she's got that like, whiny little voice! Not my thing. Anyways, there was a girl. And she was poor. Oh, I am poor. Dirt poor. Please, she can't even afford dirt. If only I could have built or make some deals with owls or find a talking fox. Excuse me, but I can come over here and tell it, Mr. Ingram. Tell you what, I will grant anything of your heart's desire. Give me one small thing. Sure, that sounds like a great bargain. I wanted to ask what that one small thing is because I'm so trusting. Excellent. <laughs>
Oh yeah, I was supposed to get that thing from that girl. And then here I was, right at your house. What are you, your, your child? child? Mom? Is that 
She's behind you. Look behind you. Turn around. Turn around. Look behind you. There's a witch behind you. She's right there. She's right there. Are you two eating my house? Ah! I told you. I told you, but you did not listen to me. Why didn't you listen to me? I said do not go in there, and you went in. You went in. Why? Yes. What? Can we keep doing the play, please? Well, you said it was a horror movie, so I was just reacting like a normal person would. Well, can you just take it down a notch, all right? Fine. My bad. Thank you. My bad. Were you eating the house, Hansel? I mean, yeah. It wasn't made out of candy. What do you expect me to do? Not eat it? Also, you should really try the floorboards. They're really tasty. I am so disappointed in today's young people. You think? You can fill the house out of candy and no one's going to disturb it. But no! I'm going to need to teach you two a lesson. <laughs> oh, dang it! I knew it! Get out of the house! Get out of the house! What kind of lesson She's exactly? going to eat you! Why are you talking to her? Run! But first, why don't you want some more candy, huh? No! And so, the children stayed with the witch and ate. And ate. Stop! Sorry. One question remains. 
Where did the witch come from? Ooh, I know. So, once upon a time, there was a dwarf. I prefer a little person. In fact, several little people. I prefer dwarf. And these dwarves <laughs> went all day to mines and sang their little song. Snow 
wife. I've only ever been a dwarf. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Exactly. I would be a much better Snow White oh. than her. I don't know about that. Oh, I don't even think it's gonna fit. I mean, Oh. About dang time! Yes! I've just been waiting for my chance, but I will rock this. Oh yeah, it's all coming true just like I dreamed. You got this, Mary. Time for this diamond to shine. Showtime. All right then. Woo. She was the most beautiful girl in the entire kingdom. You know it. <laughs> Not on your life, sister. These curves are tight and streamlined like a racing yacht on by a hip-hop mobile. You need to tweeze your eyebrows. They're looking puffy. No, they're fierce like a chain tiger with ghost pepper stuffed up this movie on. And the wicked stepmother went into her room and gazed into her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Certainly not you, person. Hey, that's a great idea. You should try that. I'm afraid it's over for you, Snow White, for I have a lot of money and have been through a lot of plastic surgery in Hollywood. Now I'm more beautiful than even you. Unlikely. Begin! pretty girls walk like Amazing. All right. I'm going to bed. 
in conclusion, they flew to Johannes's the best, and all other servants are stupid. Johannes loved his life. This is great. Nothing like eating bugs, slapping yourself in the face for my king. But one night, he was this man. Like a talking ring. Hey, Johannes, come here. Who's that? I've got something to tell you. Are you a talking raven? Yeah, shut up. I've got news for you. What is it? There's about to be three attempts on the king's life. You want to stop it? You listen to me. Oh. But you read the word of this? You tell anybody you heard this from me, and I'll turn you to stone. You can do that? I'm a talking raven. I can do whatever I want to, got it? Don't tell nobody nothing, or I'll turn you to stone. Okay. First up, you didn't hear this from me, but there's this magic horse. A magic horse? Shh. And the king's going to think he's pretty sweet. But if he gets on that horse, the horse is going to fly up into the air about 2,000 feet splat. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take this sword and chop that horse's face off. But I'm in a fairy tale. I didn't even know he chopped faces off. You do now. You hear me? You chop that horse's face off or the king is dead meat. And I'll be watching you. Kaboom! Next night. Well, my faithful Joe Hannes, let's go for a lovely stroll. Of course, sire. Something the matter? Not at all, hard pie. Hey, look at that! Hi, my name's Piggy Pie, and I'm a magical. Hey, the Wait, friends oh! Oh! Tell my friends oh. that their friendship oh. was magic. Oh. What the heck are you doing? I didn't like the look of that horse, sire. That was an adorable horse! Why would you do that? Dress at home? Sorry. Man, what problem? That man. <clears throat> hey, Johannes. Ah, uh, stay away from me. I can't do this. Attempt number two is coming tomorrow at the king's wedding with herself. I don't want to hear it. It's got to be you, Johannes. The king's wedding shirt is cursed. If he puts it on, he'll burn to death. That horse is innocent, and I killed her. I killed her. All you have to do is take the shirt and rip it up in front of the king. That's all you gotta do. But remember, don't tell nobody nothing. Wait, how do I know that you're telling the truth? You don't. <laughs> Welcome, friends. It's so nice to see all of you mostly recovered from the plague. I'm here today to tell you I love this big guy. Come here, you big galoot. This is a day of celebration because I love you, honey bear. I love you more, honey bear. Even our nicknames are cute. This is the happiest day of my life. And as a little present, I'm eating something. I sewed this myself. It's the only thing I've ever done myself. And I made it for you. Oh. I mean it. <gasps> I hate this shirt. I hate it. What the heck? It's not your pillar, sire. It's an affront against fashion. Oh, honey bear. I'm never going to try again. <laughs> I'm going to do with this, Johannes. Not cool. That night. I don't want to hear from any talking ravens. Ravens tonight. No, no, get out. Yo, Johannes, you did good, kid. Everyone thinks that I'm crazy. Tomorrow, the queen is going to die. Stop it. She's going to be poisoned. And the only way to stop it is for you to suck three drops of blood out of the queen's lip. What? Hi, don't do it. She'll die. No difference to me. Remember, don't tell nobody nothing. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. <sighs> okay, I had a rough night remembering that shirt. But I'm feeling a little better. Obviously, it was traumatic for everyone. And I'm going to be okay with 15 or 20 years of therapy. But today is not about the terrible traumas of yesterday. Today is about putting a happy face on and, and. <gasps> oh no, hi there, are you all right? Say something, is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> Can anyone save the queen's life, anyone at all? Oh no, this is terrible. Someone do something, if only someone could save her. Yourself. Uh, that is it. 
You are sentenced to death for being a jerk. Where is my guillotine? Wait, but I have served you faithfully, sire. But there was this talking raven who was telling me to. And just then, Johannes turned into a statue. Because when a talking raven tells you to do stuff, you better just listen. OK, that was mildly dramatic, mostly for me, but not super dramatic. 10 years passed, and every day he would stare at the statue of faithful Johannes and sigh. <sighs> Are you coming? Hold on. I'm spending some more time with the statue. He was such a good servant. All right, then. I'm going to sleep. If only there is some way to bring you back. No one hates bugs or slaps himself in the face of me anymore. Suddenly, a ghostly voice emanated from the statue. Wait, where is it? There's one way to bring me back. <laughs> what is it? I'll, I'll do anything. Take what you most love in the world. That would be my two kids. I love my two kids so much. Daddy loves you. I love you, Papa. You're the best, Daddy. Chop off their heads and smear their blood on you. OK. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, no. I feel better. You're alive. Air hug. And they lived happily ever after. The end. What did I just watch? That was a fairy tale right there. He kills his children to bring back a servant? Yeah, a good servant is really hard to find. And you can always just make more children. Brian! <laughs> anyway, Johannes resurrects the kids because he's got superpowers and stuff. And then one of those kids runs away into the mines and becomes a dwarf. Uh, that is really messed up. Anyway, we're actually running out of time. But we didn't get to progress. Or Little Red Riding Hood. Or the Devil's Grandmother. But we've got to be born once. Uh -oh. What? Um, aren't you forgetting something? Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right, one last one. So, once upon a time. Thank you. There was a little orphan girl. Oh, I am orphaned and oh, I'm sad. Hey, can we pause here for a second? Oh, how sad am I? Wait, just hold on. What is it? There was like some really bad beef in the catering. Oh, the catering is bad. So like everybody's throwing up back there. Oh, they better stay away from the costumes. <laughs> so we don't have enough actors for this one. What? We could skip it, maybe. Oh, yeah. no. We are not skipping it. OK. How many actors do we have left? Uh, me and there's one other person yeah. back there. Now you listen to me here, you little reject from Nickelodeon. This is my chance to be a star, you got it? There are important of people out there watching. Probably. And I'm getting an HBO series out of this, you got it? <laughs> well. Got it! Or I'll tear your tiny heart out! Never! Thank you. <laughs> oh, how sad. Why? So sad. So her mother died and her father remarried. Mother? Where are you, mother? Are you dead? And the woman he married was beautiful of face, but black of heart. I shall spread these cinders upon myself to keep me warm. Oh, they are hot. Ow. So they called her <laughs> Cinder, Ella. Now, Cinderella's stepmother had two daughters, both equally beautiful. Oh, um, I'm sorry. You're wrong. I'm the pretty one. They're quite hideous. <laughs> I was told they're beautiful, too. I think I know my own story. Thank you. Oh, they are so mean to me. I shall not cry like I do every night. And just then, Cinderella's two wicked stepsisters entered. Look what the cat dragged in. Because it's been a new one to just pass. <laughs> that was a good one, Giselle. I thought you could like it. Oh, Cinderella, I need to get ready for the ball. What ball? Um, the ball being thrown by Prince Charming himself. Oh, he's so charming. When I see him, I just want to grab a little tight sweat bottle and squeeze. <laughs> May I attend the ball? Um, no. Um, you're gonna make us pretty. Make me prettier than her. I need Charming. I need him now. I suppose. I'm gonna need a lot of makeup, though. Cinderella drew both of her sisters for the ball. I'm so hot. Oh, I'm gorgeous. Run! <laughs> Life. So unfair. Why am I just a servant? Why, Mama? Why? 
time just then. Cinderella's wicked stepmother entered. Oh, Cinderella, what seems to be the trouble? I can't go to the ball, and I am so sad. Oh, poor thing. Come sit on your stepmommy's lap. That's a little. Get over it! <laughs> Would you like to go to the ball with us? And just then, one of Cinderella's wicked stepsisters, Giselle, answered. Mother, aren't you coming? Yes, in a moment, dear. Oh, thank you, I will. And from the other side of the room, Cinderella's other wicked stepsister entered. Um, I really need to be going. You do that, witch! Um, what did you just call me? You heard what I said, witch! Girl. Oh, no, you didn't! Go! <laughs> Please. You're both going to the ball, correct? You're both pretty, right? Look at you, look at your makeup. Look at your hair, it's so pretty. It's not. So oh, blushing. <laughs> and you both need to leave right now without saying a word! And so, they left. Now, Cinderella, I'm a fair wicked stepmother, so I am going to, I am going to pour an entire dish of lentils into the fireplace. And once you have picked every single one out, then you may come to the ball with us. And with that, Cinderella's wicked stepmother emptied the entire dish of lentils into the fireplace like she said she would. <laughs> Oh, the humanity! Oh, gods! Why must I be punished? I mean, it's just a couple of lentils. That doesn't seem all that I will never go! Never! But what's that? What could it be? My fairy! It was a swarm of birds. <laughs> um, question. Do I have to play each individual bird, or can I just collectively be the birds? Hmm. I guess you could be a collective group of birds. Whew, you don't know how much that means to me. Tweedle! Tweedle! A tweet! Uh, look, uh, birds. They are so beautiful. Come, my little feathered friends, and peck these lentils out of the fireplace. Peck, peck, peck. 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 Oh, I am truly blessed. Thank you, birds. Fly! Fly to freedom! Oh, Cinderella! We're off to the ball. Look, wicked stepmother. I removed all of the lentils out of fireplace. And with that, 
She put the dress on and she felt very pretty. I feel very pretty. Thank you, Slumber Birch. Now, I shall walk to the ball. <laughs> and just then, Cinderella's wicked stepsisters and wicked stepmother entered. Cinderella! What are you doing here? Look at you! <laughs> I have dressed you all for the ball because the fairies brought it to me. And it was a wonderful ball, a huge ball, and everyone was dancing. But unfortunately, the wicked stepmother only knew how to do that cha cha. <laughs> one wicked stepsister was doing the gritty, and the other one was twerking! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Dun da da da! His Royal Highness, the Prince! <laughs> Hello there. Having a nice time, are we? Blimey, who's that minx? She's gorgeous. Oh, my name's not Fawcett. <laughs> Come here, give us a taste, love. <laughs> oh, Prince, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Blimey, your skin's as supple as a baby's bottom. I moisturize. I gotta say, this is getting a little weird. But maybe he should get that HBO special. Um, what HBO special? Oh. I have to leave, Prince. What? What's your name? Oh, it would spoil everything if you knew my name. Just tell me your name. Sheesh. No, I could have loved you, especially because you were attractive. <laughs> Is it this where she's supposed to drop like a slipper or something? Cinderella loses her slipper on the third trip to the prince's ball. He just keeps throwing more balls. And she keeps freaking out until she finally loses her black belt slipper. <laughs> Hello then. Any of you darlings off the shoe? Oh, oh, I did. I did. Well, let me see that. Oh, may I try the shoe on the bathroom so nobody can see what I'm doing? Take all the time you like. Excellent. So, Giselle wants to go try on the shoe in the bathroom. But of course, her foot was too big, so she dropped off her toe. <laughs> I <laughs> say, are you all right in there? It fits fine. I love you. Beg it and match. Let's go get married then. Up into my carriage. It's nice. Say, what's all this then? I, uh, popped a zit on my foot. You topped off your toe, you did. Pop. <laughs> Cinderella's wicked stepsister went back home. The prince followed to find the other wicked stepsister. Quick! <laughs> Hello! May I try the shoe in the bathroom? I'm shy. Of course, I'm not allowed to write. So, of course, she also wanted to try the shoe in the bathroom, but her foot was humongous. So she did the only sensible thing she could do and chopped up her heel. <laughs> we feel so bad. <laughs> Are you all right in there? <coughs> Let's go get married. Up into me, carriage. <laughs> Blimey, is that blood on your foot? Oh, I cut myself shaving. I have hairy legs. <laughs> <laughs> you call your heel. I did it for you. Get out. <laughs> so the prince went back to the house for a third time. Hello then, I realized that several of the ladies in this here house have chopped off a body part to fit in this here shoe, but I'm just wondering if there's anyone else who fits in it. You see, I'm not all that bright, but I make up for it by being very persistent. It's how I run the government. I mean, I, I guess I can try It's you! It is I! And they lived happily ever after. As for the wicked stepsisters, the birds pecked out their eyes just for <laughs> However, that's just the beginning. But we're out of time. So, it's time for the lightning round recap! It is, of course. Otherwise, no one would be able to follow the narrative. So, what we're gonna do is perform everything we've done in two minutes. Are you ready? Or ready. So, Cinderella got pregnant. Heavens! After they're married. Twice day! And their daughter grew up to marry a great servant. I'm old now. And I have a faithful servant. 
talking. Raven told me to suck poison out of a, um, a statue. Oh no! Kill your children and I'll come back. Deal! I've been resurrected, but I'm a little thief, so I'm going to start my own dwarf village with six of my friends. That sounds like a great idea. Ah, giant hottie! Ah, dwarf! Good old person! How about you clean our house and tuck us in that night? You are not going to impress me! I'm hotter than you! I don't judge myself by my looks, but I'm still hotter than you! Want to fight about it? Yes! Your kung fu is stronger than mine! What is going on here? I'm an emancipated princess, and I'm going to take what I want! You! I'm not dead! I said no! I want references! Hey, let's go eat that lady's house! Hey, that's a great idea! How about I eat you instead? How about I push you in the oven and you die? Woo! Yeah.